Remember 1980? Jimmy Carter was president. The Rubik's Cube made its debut. America miraculously beat the Soviet Union in Olympic hockey. And U.S. food manufacturers paid about 38 cents a pound for sugar. A lot's changed since then. But the price of sugar is still low. Today, it's actually lower than in 1980, costing less than 30 cents a pound for much of the past year. That's a lot less than the 41 cents that the International Sugar Organization says consumers in other developed countries pay. Those low prices have taken a toll. 65 sugar factories have closed since 1980, leaving thousands unemployed. Meanwhile, the cost of sweetened foods in America has gone up. Take a candy bar, for example. It cost 35 cents in the 1980s. Today, it's $1.49. So why hasn't sugar done the same? American farmers get a lot of the credit. They're among the world's most efficient. America's no-cost sugar policy has a lot to do with it too. The policy provides the needed market stability and responds to foreign predatory trade practices. It provides loans to producers, which are repaid with interest. And it costs taxpayers nothing. That protects America's remaining 142,000 sugar jobs. And it keeps America stocked with affordable, homegrown supplies. <laughs>